Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn how you can share new OneDrive files to Slack channel automatically. Here OneDrive and Slack are two different applications and there is no direct connection between these two applications that is OneDrive and Slack. That's why we are going to integrate both of them with the help of an integration software that is Public Connect. So that whenever a new file is uploaded in OneDrive, Public Connect will automatically share that file to Slack channel at the same time. And you know what the best part is? This process requires no coding knowledge and any non-technical person can also do this easily. So let's begin with the process. Okay, so this is my OneDrive account and this is my Slack account. Okay, so this is the channel that is OneDrive message where I want to share the file that I am uploading in this OneDrive. Okay, so suppose here I'm uploading this file. Suppose this one. Okay, so yeah, I'm uploading it and it is uploaded. Now I'm going back to this Slack and we'll see whether we received the same file there or not in this particular OneDrive message channel. Okay, so here I'm going to refresh it. Okay, so here we received the same file. Okay, this one. Let me just show you this one. Okay, so here we have received the same file. Now I'm going to tell you how we did it and how we are going to do the whole process. Now in the new tabs browser, type pably.com. Here type p a b b l y dot com. Okay, so here press enter. Okay, so this is the site of pably. Here you have to click on products and you have to click on connect. Okay, so this is a landing page of Pabli Connect. Here you have to click on sign in as I've already created my account. That's why I'm directly signing in. You can also create your free account just in two minutes. So click on sign in. Okay, so this is my account and here I'm going to click on connect access now. So this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here what you have to do, you have to create the workflow with the help of this create workflow button. Just click on it and here name your workflow. So I'm going to give it name as OneDrive to Slack. Okay, now click on create. Okay, okay. So this is the name of your workflow. Here, I would like to mention that I will add the link of this workflow in the description box. You can directly clone it and directly access it into your account. Okay, so whenever you click on create, these two windows will appear. These two windows, this is known as trigger window and this is known as action window. Now you might be thinking, what is this trigger or action? So let me tell you, when we talk about automation, it works on the concept of trigger an action that means whenever this happens do this trigger says when this happens an action says do this so here i'm scrolling it up and in this use case whenever a new file is uploaded in OneDrive that will be a trigger and share the same file on Slack channel would be action. So that's how it is going to work. So here in the trigger window we are going to use we are going to choose the trigger application that is Microsoft OneDrive. Okay, so here Microsoft OneDrive. Okay, this is the trigger application. Okay, here the trigger event is new file. Okay, now what we have to do here? We have to make a connection for that we are using Public Connect. How? First we are doing or we are connecting Microsoft OneDrive with Public Connect. Then we are connecting Pabli Connect with Slack. In order to this, we are making a connection. Okay, so here click on connect and click on connect with Microsoft OneDrive. Okay, here Public Connect will ask for the access so you can give access at is, as it is 100% safe to use. Okay, so yes. Okay, it might require some time. Okay, but the authorization is successful. Here we have successfully connected. Now two fields are visible that is set folder path and event type. So event type is already filled with new file created. And here we have to set the folder path and the folder path is this. Let me just tell you. Okay, let me just go back here. This, this is the folder path. Okay, so not in this manner, but in slash manner. That means in this manner, we have to enter the folder path. Okay, so here I'm going to enter the folder path as documents slash pably slash and project reports okay project reports 
wonderful now this is this folder path now i'm going to click on save and send test request before that i'm going to upload another image on this onedrive account okay so here files and here i'm uploading suppose this price this uh, image okay or this file so here it is uploading and it is uploaded it might take some time so not to worry okay so it is uploaded here now going back to public connect and here i'm going to click on save and send test request okay okay so we have received the details of the file that is name and the url and location everything okay so now what we have to do we have to send these details to public uh, to that uh, slack and from there we are going to see how the workflow worked okay so here i'm going to choose the action application that is slack okay and here i'm going to use or select that action event so action event is particularly send channel message with image let me just scroll it up okay so yeah wonderful now click on connect again slack will ask for the permission or public connect will ask the permission to use slack and you can give the permission as it is 100% safe so yeah here you have to click the allow now the connection of slack and public connect is successful now we are sending these details to slack okay so here the fields are visible that is channel message type message image url and image all text for that i'm going to tell you how we are going to fill it okay so this is the channel thing and here all the channels of your slack will be visible like here these are the channels and these channels are already visible here so you have to select the your particular channel and i'm going to select this onedrive message okay this one wonderful now message type will be plain text and it is marked down as some kind of language of slack so i'm selecting plain text and message i'm just uh, writing a message that is new file is uploaded in onedrive okay and here what we have to add we have to add the name of the image so for that i'm going to scroll it down and here i'm going to add the name this one okay now these details which details these details are available here and we can map them easily here okay these all are visible that we received as a response in the above window okay wonderful now image url which url this one this is the url okay so wonderful now what we have to do we have to add image all text all text is just simple so you can give it according to yourself i'm giving it as image okay so here now click on save and send test request okay so we have received the response that is this one response received that means we have successfully shared the file in slack channel okay so which file this particular file where here let me just show you okay so here it is shared successfully that's how we have built a connection between onedrive and slack now onedrive will require some kind of time like five minutes ten minutes or sometimes more than ten minutes so don't panic and wait for the response okay so here i'm going back to public connect and minimizing the window this is slack window that means action window and this is a trigger window okay so what we have done basically we have made a connection between microsoft onedrive with slack with the help of public connect firstly we have connected microsoft onedrive with public connect then we have connected public connect with slack not just these two software you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business business with public connect now link of public connect and this workflow will be given in the description for any queries contact us at admin at the rate public.com p a b b l y dot com and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel thank you for watching